front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Young is up there with Buddy Heal. Then there's Jonathan Isaac. Then there's Hunter. And it's Hawkeyes in at the small forward position. What a passer this guy is. I love how fast ball is at noticing when the defense has just overcommitted. Pass to Jordan. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. First personal foul. It's his first trip to the line. Team foul. And the free throw line was a problem spot for, for him in their last game. Michael struggled Jordan. up there. Free throw good, Jordan. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. At this point, you might as well go ahead oh. and play. You have to prevent him from getting to the paint, unless you want to see a highlight. Ball, the pass to Pippen. Rebound by the Hawks. Their last encounter was in Atlanta. Not a close contest either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid in the bench. Was the difference. The second unit came in last game and just played lights out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Four point game. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And sometimes it's a lot harder for to get easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, it was probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work, but the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building not in a good mood. At the elbow, Hunter driving the lane. It's rebounded by Jordan. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Don't you wish you could leap like Pippen? I mean, I do. Young pass to Hawkins. Shoots over Pippen. Hawkins with the buck. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Screen by Oakley. Out to the wing. It's blocked. Now we have a chance to pay homage to the Eastern Conference Player of the Week, Big Dog. And you just look at the point totals that he has posted up during that time frame. Just some unreal numbers. Uh, hard to argue with him as the pick when he is just putting up huge stats on offense and carrying this team with his scoring ability. Outside Jordan. Overheel. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, well, we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Last break. Here comes Chicago. Pulls up. And there it is for him. Michael Jordan's got six points. And, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Bulls. And just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition Three. is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmares clamps thus far. Yeah, I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do because right now they feel like the faster team. Jordan's shot is off. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Count that one. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul called on the Atlanta Hawks. This is his second the trip to the line Chicago. in this one. And the first one drops. Kuko just checked in for Chicago. Bean comes in for ball. And so Jordan nails both of them. The Hawks trail by four. Young outside. Healed from outside. The basket good off the assist from Young. Young's got five assists in the game. Number three, Levine. And again, Chicago, no good. 
And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. That puts them in the lead. He's got nine. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Levine dishes to Jordan. And he gets it to go from the high post. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. It's good from long range. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Pops it up for Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score. This is looking like one of those nights. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. The drum. Oh! Man, Jordan. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. On its way from Young for two. And Atlanta again with the bucket. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great, scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. And that one is good. There aren't many better at shooting from that range than Levine. He is lethal from that spot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Atlanta shooting their first free throws of the night right here. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. And both free throws good for Isaac. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. It's going fast and furious as we end the first quarter. It's Atlanta. They're up by four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. They've got Tony Kukoc. Zach Levine is out there with Jordan. Then there's Rudy Gay, and it's Grant in at the five. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Murray finds Isaac. Hits the three-point bomb. Isaac. Isaac's three. got the lead up to seven now for the Hawks. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been triple. Pulls up on the elbow. Rebounded by the Hawks. Isaac's got his fourth rebound in this one. Passes it to Black. Jacks up a three. Another three for Atlanta. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. Jordan and the dunk by Jordan. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. From the line, and Atlanta again with the bucket. Yeah, he's got to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Pass to get. Down to five on the shot clock. Atlanta with the rebound. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Again, the Hawks score. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Levine passes to Gay. From 13, good on the bucket. Gay's got his first bucket of the night. They're adept at converting at the mid-range. Rudy Gay, when he gets room to shoot, he's not going to think about it two times. He gets it in there. And the Hawks lead by 12. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but 
its importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Chicago making some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Grant. Oakley comes in for Tony Kukoc. And Ball subbed in for Rudy Gay. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And Jordan throws it down. Well, Capella at that size really has no issues spotting the open man. The Hawks leading by 10. Black the pass to Hunter. And it's Hunter with the jam. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. With the majority of the season behind SGA, what becomes the focus for teams that have postseason aspirations? Kevin, ideally, this is the time of year that you want to be hitting your stride. So you have to make sure everyone's on the same page and that you're united in the same goal. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, defense has got to have a little bit more toughness. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul, and his coach has to consider now sitting him down. Scotty Pippen's checked in for the Bulls. Scotty Pippen. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Capella, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First for so much foul. reliance for this team on Capella and his grittiness to do the little goal. things on the inside. They love that one. And he can't get the first one. Two shots. He hits the second from the line. Hey, Brent in general, as we widen the lens here, what do you think current NBA teams could do better? Well, it's going to be interesting, Kevin, to see how with the defensive three-second rule sort of disappearing, how many more coaches are able to implement combinations of zone defenses that are going to take away what it is that a team likes to do in the half court of their execution. Along with that, certainly clock management and timeouts, Maybe more usage of their actual roster going a little bit deeper during the regular season to explore those kind of tactics. And don't forget about all those experiments. They could happen in the G League as well. And don't be surprised when it is that Lonzo Ball rises up like that. He can get it done. And the three-pointers are starting to add up. That's his third of the quarter, and it brings him to four on the game. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Now, one of the toughest things NBA referees are asked to judge are carrying violations. For three. The ball comes to rest at mid-dribble. Now, Warriors coach Steve Kerr says they've been doing it ever since Allen Iverson convinced the referees that it wasn't a carry. It is a carry, but the whole league's been doing it. Kevin? Yeah, you're right. Now we've seen it. David, thanks. First, and that's a smart play from Levine. He 13, understands five. how to get the defender in the air. Bulls hit their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Two shots. Good on the second free throw. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. And there's the drive and the rejection by Pippen. Elite at both ends. Pippen sees the play develop and then the perfect timing on the block. Oakley against Hunter. Shot clock at five. Goes up the baseline. Not enough on that one as it misses. And with the success they've had rebounding the ball. Oh, that was something else. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep break into his bag of tricks there. Oakley. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. Pippen's got three assists now in this one. Murray, the pass to Hawkes. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Pippen. Outside, ball. Floats it up for Pippen. Hammers the alley-oop through. And hard to decide which is better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Uh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> Sensational. Oh, God. The assist. You can just see how the that motor never subsides. Isaac always looking to put on a show there with his dunking ability. 
Now here's Levine. Capella with a screen on Murray. Three points. Zach Levine. Here's Black. Got it up. Oh, and he just knocked That's down the buzzer. Peter. Well, the grand finale to the half. Great shot from distance to give his team the momentum right before the buzzer. Jonathan Isaac, he has been the guy making things happen, guys, for the Hawks. He witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he notched three total in the quarter. We'll return shortly. Welcome, everybody. The story at the half could be summed up as a dominating performance for the Atlanta Hawks. You've got to be impressed with their unselfishness. They're moving the ball with ease, looking to keep each other involved. That's a total team effort. It's entertaining to watch, as long as you're not the team they're playing. And guys, a look now at who's been really lighting it up from outside the arc. Well, I love this group. I mean, each one of them can legitimately win the event. But then again, these days, a lot of people in this league could possibly win it. Yep, from one to five, we've got shooters at every position. Can't wait for the All-Star Saturday night. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. And the way he goes at defenders, he is bound to get to the line just like he did there in that first half. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. On the court for Atlanta. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Okongwu is out there with Rui Hachimura. And it's Hunter in at the center, First walking down the middle. Foul. And obviously his foul. momentum from the last game has carried That's over for the here tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. A pass to ball. Going inside. Now Capella. Bulls moving the ball around. Four on the clock. Here's Pippen. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Jordan in the corner. It's blocked. Hachimura putting the long arms to use. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Hunter kicks to Young. Hunter, the pass to Young. Shoots over ball. And it's Young. That time on the assist by Hunter. Young's got his third basket of the night. Pass to Oakley. Inside and stolen by Hunter. An even three on three break. Here's Okongwu. And it's Hunter with the jam. That's what he gives you a big time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Hunter faded away to create the space. Hunter's got seven points for the quarter. Pippen against Hachimura. Pippen the pass to ball. Outside Oakley. Hunter grabs the miss. Hunter's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Murray for three. It's hauled in by Oakley. Yeah, and he had the D tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert the finish. 
And it's put back up and in by Capella. Capella, one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. It's because of his activity. Here's Hunter. The basket good off the assist from Young. Assisted. Young's got Young. assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more to one. For Chicago. Capella taking a crack and stays focused on the rim. One shot. Hawks making a switch here. Bombas checked in. Free throw no good for Capella. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials, but Greg, what was your approach with those conversations Greg with Young. referees? <laughs> Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation, but at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do. And you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. Jordan against Murray. From deep three-point territory. And Bamba pulls it down. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this new team. A beautiful reverse layup. Bamba's got his first points of the night. Loving the toughness there from Bamba. Just needs to keep proving that he's not to be messed with. Two, Two points. That one goes. Two minutes. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Hachimura, no good. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Hachimura against Pippen. Here's Jordan. It's deflected, and they get it back. Count it. There's 126 left in the third. Over to the left wing. From downtown, Mbamba with the basket on the assist by Young. Three. Young's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Hawks. Brand of defense has been paying off for them in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys, they're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Horace Grant, he's checked in for Capella. Kukoc comes in for Oakley. Cody Gaines checked in for Michael Jordan. And Levine subbed in for Lonzo Ball. And you know, that level of physicality that Grant brings inside it is awesome to watch. He does a great job with finishing with that power above the rim. And again, it's Atlanta. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Here's Pippen. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. First person. It goes on Muhammad Bob. Second team foul. And, and maximum effort. That's what you see from Scotty Pippen. Game after game. Scottie he looks for ways to affect the game every minute. Michael Jordan. He's checked in for the Bulls. The Hawks leading by 23. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To the middle. Here's Bamba. And the Bamba. jump by Bamba. Yeah, and that seven foot nine wingspan on full display there. Bamba swooping in with authority. Jordan looking around. Five to shoot. Bamba with the block. Uh, the main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, the helps him block lots of shots. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back to the action in just a minute. candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up and that cut was wide open. 
and one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So with Jordan on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. And they've got Pippen. Grant is out there with Tony Kukoc. Then it's Zach Levine. And it's Gay in at the small forward. Pulls it from the elbow. And that one's good. Hachimura. Hachimura's got his first basket of the night. Hachimura's going to take all those mid-range shots if he can get them. Levine wide open from outside off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Hunter gets to Young. Hawks passing it around. Hachimura sinks the three-pointer. Hachimura. Hachimura's got five three points, points now this quarter. Yeah, and this is a tough one to figure out because Rui hitting the three, that makes him really difficult to check. Grant with a screen on Young. Levine for three, rebounded by the Hawks. Hunter's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Murray dishes to Bamba. Back to Murray. Passes to Hunter. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Hunter's got 25 points. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Young pass to Hunter. Here's Hachimura. Bamba wide open and he fires. That's in coming off the assist from Young. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. All night long in control of the pace, and you don't want to let go of that rope right now. Here's Murray, and again, it's Atlanta. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Gay with it. He's against Hachimura. And powering at home. He ends a 12-0 run by Atlanta. And Young kicks to Murray. Let's it go with a three. Young's shot is off. Chicago's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And it's off the back rim, no good. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Pippen with the steal. He dishes it to Gay. From deep, Atlanta with the rebound. Young with the ball. Fires for three, trains it from beyond the arc. That gives him the double-double. 12 points and 12 assists. It's Pippen on the wing. He's covered by Murray from the top of the key. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Hunter. Chicago ball. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Bulls. On Wednesday, they'll host the Washington Wizards. Then on Friday, they'll be playing against James Harden and the Los Angeles Clippers. And for that game against Miami, it's going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan, as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Charles Oak, he's checked in for Rudy Gay. Just living around the hoop. Oakley, man, he is a ferocious finisher. And here we go. Fast break. Levine's got it. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Bamba. And when he wants to be, Levine can be as flashy as anybody in our league. He's got the Bring ball up. skills to do it. Three. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Oakley misses. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Here's Hunter. Murray outside. Young with no one around. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. For three. Murray's got three assists in the game. Kukoc, a screen on Murray. Here's Pippen. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Lethal from the mid-range. Pippen doesn't need much airspace to feel comfortable with that jumper. Young against Levine. Pass to Bamba. Fires from deep. Another three for Atlanta. 
does so much out there to stretch out the defense when he's out on the That's perimeter the end of the game. he drains the triple. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now our New Balance Player of the Game. Big dog. Spend a million on